This video is brought to you by Dynamic Custom Beadworks, now officially licensed by Capcom. Check them out at dynamicbeadworks.com now to get your own custom video game sprites. What's up everybody, Jay Coon here and welcome to Storytime and welcome back to the Mega Manathon in the thick of the Mega Man X games and we have now arrived at Mega Man X3 which was a game that was released in the later end of the lifespan of the Super Nintendo and it was also the first time you actually got full control of Zero. However, it was in a very limited capacity. The story takes place, I want to say, a few years after the events of Mega Man X1 and 2 where they were only about six months apart this one's a couple of years apart from the two, where Reploids, for the most part, have been stopped dead of their Maverick activities thanks to a Dr. Doppler, who he himself has now gone Maverick, and it's up for Mega Man X and Zero to stop it. So, like with Mega Man X2, this will be a 100% run. I do apologize ahead of time if it seems like I kind of suck at this. But I am by no means a speedrunner of these games, I'm just a fan. So sit back and enjoy Mega Man X3. My god, they're dropping like flies! <laughs> Here, let me help you with that, X. You're taking too long. <laughs> X, I'll clear out the enemies out here. You go ahead and deal with the ones inside. Okay! It's about to say, anytime you like to let me feel like moving. Mac, where have you been? <laughs> You're far too trusting, X. I'm now a member of Doppler's army. You will make a fine addition to our forces once you've been shown the true destiny of the Reploid race. Well, see ya, X. It's been fun. <laughs> Let the badassery commence. Are you okay, X? Thanks, Zero. I'm okay. I'll check around headquarters again. Be on your guard, X. Yeah, try not to get kidnapped like a fucking noob like you just did, scrub.
Yes! Missed again! Missed a third time! Get wrecked. <laughs> All right. Looks like we've swept most of the enemies out of here. I'll go back and check on headquarters. Call me if you need me. See you later, X. And we won't be seeing him for the remainder of the game, except for one moment. <laughs> I do believe we go here first. I'm not as super well versed in this game as I am some of the others. Good feathers annoyed you? Oh, oh, that's fucked up, dude. I love the good feathers. The good feathers were amazing. But then again, I'm I'm biased as shit because I love Goodfellas the movie. Like that's one of my favorite movies. Probably not getting that right now. Ah. Oh, come on. Really? Ugh. I swear, you take like so much damn damage until you get the chest armor.
game. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! What? What the fuck am I missing here? Like, it's just, it's gotta be just a timing thing. And now! Uh. <laughs> yeah! First armor piece. Let's do it. Enter this capsule, Rex. Take this leg upgrade. The upgrade will enhance your mobility in the air. You'll be able to dash left, right, or even straight up into the air. The music for the capsule as the games progressed got worse too. Yay! Now you may laugh at the up dash, but that thing is gonna be hella useful. <laughs> right here, for example. <laughs> you! You! You fucking... Now you can kill me. I don't care now. Ooh, you! <laughs> you shut up, Razor Synapse. What the hell ever. So there's a dumb little trick you can do to Blizzard Buffalo that we are going to make an attempt to get on the first try. All right, Obi. Let's do Tunnel Rhino. Alright, can't get that yet. Hey. 
Hey, sub tank number two, how you doing? the shot. forgot about the boulder. Oh god! Oh. Joy, thanks for the follow, my man. I appreciate you. Really? Yeah, fucking butthole. Total dick. Alright, so we're off to a bit of a rocky start with this one. Give me a second here. Yikes, the tablet's about to die. Hang on, let me put the tablet back on the dock, guys. What are you looking at, cat? Quit judging me. Ugh. You feel like your resub should be coming up soon? Um, yeah, probably. You sh you can go into settings and go under subscriptions. I believe it tells you when it comes up.
You got something important to tell me? Uh, what's up? Oh, for God's sakes, Twisted. <laughs> Here, you all got me worried and shit, like thinking something's wrong. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, Reaper, he's watching Animaniacs. Really? You butthole of a game. Once again, forgot about the damn bolt, and I'm about to get hit by the other one. God damn it. Not like it's gonna matter much the moment this dude runs at me. I'm fucking screwed. Yeah, just like that. Did I get it? Yeah! What's the difference between a piano and a fish? You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Come on, give me a give me a hard one. Uh. Oh, come on! It only takes one man to screw in a light bulb. <laughs> you can't, you can unscrew a light bulb. God. That is horrible. <laughs> Are you- Wow, it put me all the way back here? Are you kidding me? Okay, we're getting just a wee bit salty at this game now. Please, for the love of God, tell me I don't have to fight this guy again. I do. So lame.
Do you know why women wear white on their wedding day? Most men want the dishwasher to match the stove and the fridge. Wow, that is fucked up. That is kind of fucked up. <laughs> Oh my god, stop it. How do you turn a dishwasher into a snowblower? Oh my god. Alright, you, you, you really need to quit with that. <laughs> Those are not cool. And goodbye. Hey, welcome back, Gobi. You've said them directly to your wife and somehow you've survived. Yeah, I mean, but I'm, I'm not all into that whole woman bashing joke stuff, you know? Never really been my thing. <laughs> 